Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back with my guide on the five most essential dinosaurs that you need to tame before level 50. Now this guide is aimed at more beginners and intermediate players and I've based this list on the dinosaurs that you can tame on the island map. The other maps have a different selection of dinosaurs so there's different options going forward there but we're concentrating on the island map. So the first dinosaur to make it onto the list of course is the Triceratops. This dinosaur saddle can be crafted at level 16 and it only requires fibre, hide and wood to craft the saddle. You don't even need a smithy to be able to make this one, you can craft the saddle in your inventory so it should definitely be one of the first dinosaurs you're looking out to tame. Its preferred kibble is simple kibble but you can also use crops or failing that medjo berries will tame yourself a triceratops. But let's have a look at some of the abilities that the dino can actually do. So since the TLC update for this dinosaur it now has a speed run that can just pile through other dinosaurs on the map stunning them. You can use that ability as well to just run through trees gathering loads of thatch and wood and that same ability can be used on enemy dinosaurs to knock them back and stun them so they're very very slow and making them dizzy so this is also a great way to gather some hide even though it is a herbivore so the trike makes the list first the next dinosaur to make it onto my list is the dodicarus and the saddle for this one can be crafted at level 34 you're going to need some fiber hide 15 stone and five metal ingots in order to craft its saddle and you're also going to need the smithy to be able to craft the saddle for this one. Its preferred kibble is regular kibble, but you can use crops or medjos at a pinch if you're after just getting your first one tamed. And I recommend this dinosaur because it's one of the few dinosaurs that can gather stone on the map. Not only that, it has a rolling ability, which is quite cool but it takes a 75% reduction in the weight of stone. So taming this and all your stone worries will be fixed. The next dinosaur to make it onto my list of the five essential tames that you need before level 50 is the Ankylosaurus. The saddle for this one can be unlocked at level 36. It requires fiber, hide and 10 metal ingots in order to craft. You're also gonna need to craft this one in a smithy. Its preferred food is regular kibble, but a pinch you can use crops or medjo berries in order to tame this, especially if it's your first one. I recommend a really good high-leveled Ankylosaurus to solve all your metal worries. And this is why it's another one to make the list. As you can see here, it is a great way to gather metal. It takes a 75% reduction in the weight of metal. And since Arc has had their update and made stacks from 100 to 300, it really, really does gather plenty of metal on the island map. At a pinch, it's also pretty good at gathering berries as well. It's also a great way to grab a flint if you're going after the rocks instead of the metal. But this dinosaur is absolutely essential for getting all of that metal that you're gonna need to craft some of them super recipes. Next dinosaur to make it onto my list of essentials to tame before level 50 is the Pterodon. The saddle for this one can be unlocked at level 38 and it requires fiber, hide and either 75 chitin or keratin to craft. This is the first dinosaur that you're going to get that's going to allow you to take to the skies. Its preferred kibble is regular kibble, failing that it's raw mutton or raw prime meat in order to get an effective tame on these dinosaurs and the second that you're able to start flying that means that you can start running around and gathering the explorer notes that are spread out on the island map this is going to help you level a lot faster so just being able to run around on the back of a teraton and open some of these easier explorer notes is going to absolutely change the game it has the ability to pick up smaller dinosaurs as well if you want to bring them back for an easy tame at your base and it also has a really good barrel roll effect which does quite a lot of damage unfortunately since they've nerfed the dinosaurs and you can't pump speed anymore 
It's not as essential late game, but if you are playing on a server that has classic Fires mod enabled, this dinosaur is still relevant. And the last essential dinosaur that you need to tame before you hit level 50 is the Baryonyx. The saddle for this one can be unlocked at level 49. It requires fiber, hide and 25 metal ingots in order to craft. Now, its preferred kibble is regular kibble, but it is a pescatarian, so raw prime fish meat or raw fish is its preferred food. So reason number one for grabbing the Baryonyx is it's a great cave dinosaur. It's good at soaking up plenty of damage and it can dish out quite a lot of damage to these high level dinosaurs that you're going to find in the caves. It's slim enough to be able to fit through the corridors as well. And reason number two that this dinosaur makes the cut is it's a fantastic underwater dinosaur. It has an ability that's able to stun and paralyze the fish for a few seconds so you can just sit there and eat anything that's coming in to attack you. Baryonyx is one of my favorite dinosaurs on the map for a multitude of reasons. And just here I'll show you I'm even going to be able to paralyze an alpha shark, allowing it just to sit there and get eaten. So the Baryonyx is by far one of the greatest dinosaurs that you can get before level 50. And there you have it, that's my guide to the five most essential dinosaurs that you need to tame before you hit level 50 on the island map. Now I will admit that perhaps the Pterodon may get dropped in favour of the Argentavis later on in the game, but if you're like myself and you have the classic Flyers mod enabled on your server, then the Pterodon is certainly still relevant, you can still pump speed and it's still arguably one of the fastest ways to get around any map. Anyway, comments down below, let me know what you thought, if you disagree with my choices there, perhaps put your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the content from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.